Today we're going to use a foldable in order to identify the various soil layers. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a copy of each of the different pages for your soil layers foldable, as well as colored pencils, a glue stick, and scissors. Make sure you have all those materials available to you now. In your first step, with your first page, you're going to identify each layer. So we notice that the top layer is our hummus. Our second layer is topsoil, which of course we can see the roots. Then we have subsoiled, followed by weathered rock, and at the very bottom, bedrock. Go ahead and take a minute to pause the tutorial and write down each layer of the soil. Next, you're going to identify each layer. So, what is topsoil? Well, in topsoil, decomposers break down dead or decaying matter into hummus, which covers the soil. The layer also has leaf litter within it. Followed by that layer, we have the topsoil. That is our organic layer. Plants grow and animals live in the topsoil. Gophers, worms. Underneath that, we have our subsoil, which is our mixture of mineral products, such as, and organic matter. Most of the soil nutrients are in this layer. So here's where we help nourish the plants. Deep plant roots can penetrate this layer particularly larger trees. Where there's weathered rock, we have parent material. There's no organic matter living there. It's made up of small particles of rock, so it's crumbled up rock. At the bottom, we have our bedrock, where we have unweathered rock, hard and solid. It would be very difficult for plants to reach through this layer. It's solid rock. Go ahead and take a minute to pause the tutorial and write down your definitions. Now that you've written down your definitions, you're going to color your soil layer. So choose colors that of course make sense and that you can easily use to identify each layer. You can see my color choices for hummus, topsoil, subsoil, weathered rock, and bedrock. Go ahead and take a minute to pause the tutorial and color your layers. Now you're going to cut this layer out. You're going to cut around your soil layers so that you can see it looks like it does in this picture. So you have all the border gone. After that, you're going to actually cut out each of these specific layers. So go ahead and take a minute to do that. Make sure that you cut out your hummus along the, dot, along, along the line, topsoil along the line, subsoil along the line, and bedrock and weathered rock along the line. Now that you've cut them out, make sure you have the correct order identified. Hummus, topsoil, subsoiled, weathered rock, and at the very bottom, bedrock. So your layers should look like this once they're cut out. Now you're going to gently place some glue only along the dotted line of each of these. So go ahead and take a minute to glue those down. Then you're going to glue that layer on it, kind of like a post-it note, so that it only stick, sticks to the top part of it. That way, of course, we can open the flap and see the definition underneath our foldable. You're going to repeat that for every single layer. Make sure that they can pop up. You might want to actually leave a little flap up and fold it back to make it easier. Go ahead and take a minute to complete that task. This is what your final product should look like. We should see our hummus, topsoil, subsoil, weathered rock, and bedrock. And when we pull the flaps up, we should easily be able to see each and every definition. So make sure that your foldables look exactly like this. Great job today in science, and keep up the good work. And don't forget to add a little color to your life.